from the citizen of Richmond, Virginia. I agree with Mr. Dorsey that uh, this is the first step on, uh, to the way of a public theft, a legal public theft from the people of the city of Richmond to basically uh, the owner of the Redskins, Daniel Snyder. You know, uh, I looked him up on Wikipedia before the meeting. He's, uh, his personal value is $1.1 $1. 1 billion. That's $1,000 million. Uh, and, and, you know, Redskins hasn't, aren't putting up one red cent to uh, bring this training field here. Uh, this is the first step of the process when you all are taking away a public resource. And, and, you know, this was presented to the council two weeks ago. Just two weeks ago from tonight, it was presented to the city council for the first time at the informal session. Three o'clock meeting. Before that, nobody knew anything about it. You know, uh, I think this is a vanity project for Governor McDonald and the mayor. And where is our mayor? You know, he didn't even come and present the award this evening. He hasn't said a single word, you know, to, to counsel publicly about this. He's had, uh, he's had Mr. Marshall and, uh, and his chief of staff do all, all the heavy lifting on this job. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned, I'm concerned after I heard the public comments about the people that are interested in the top lot. Uh, I know you're planning to relocate the top lot within two blocks uh, based on where the neighborhood wants it. Uh, these uh, enhancements that you, you're talking about, Ms. Trammell brought it up, uh, and hopefully to move some of the opposition here, but uh, you know, all, all, those, all those represent is an additional $1 million from Bob Secours and then all the city revenue being dedicated to schools. This is, you know, this, this represents a, a financial theft from the people of the city, too, because uh, the $6.4 billion million that uh, the hospital, Bon Secours, is putting up for this project. And also, Mr. Marshall, at last week's land use meeting, you should have seen this, basically admitted that this deal was a quid pro quo. He said that uh, the city approached two entities, and uh, he did not name the other, but one was Bon Secours. Bon Secours said, we would be interested if this included the West Hampton site. I can't believe he admitted such a thing, but that's what's going on here. Backdoor deals are being made without the community's involvement. And you know, I don't have any seconds. You, I'm going to ask you, in the next speakers coming up, to stick to this paper. This well, this is the first it. step in the Redskins this deal. This is a big this stinky is deal. This is the I'm talking right now. What you you interrupted me to speak. I'm done. Yeah, Thank you very much. Citizen of Richmond, Virginia. I'm uh, one of the few citizens in the city that has attended all the formal discussions about this agreement. Uh, the city of 200,000 people and uh, just a handful of people have heard these discussions. I've been in more meetings about this than some members of the city council. Uh, I'd like to uh, address this paper, the enhancements. Uh, really, uh, it, they should be called concessions. Concessions from the administration because that's largely where uh, most of the money comes from comes from just uh, re, uh, redirecting taxes and dedicating it to schools. Mr. Hilbert, who goes to you for uh, negotiating something a little better, but this whole bill still stinks. Uh, the, first, uh, the first part of this agreement, actually, Boss Curtis is, is doing, contributing a little more, a million dollars over 10 years, I guess payable in $100,000 per year installments. Uh, it says uh, these projects would be in addition to, but separate from the annual lease payments made by Monsecours, in addition, the project would be related to the mission of Monsecours, health, fitness, anti-obesity, etc. Best advice City Council could give to uh, parents is don't let your children drink soft drinks nor play football. It's a major source of concussions and can lead to death. Uh, this is a little misleading here. Uh, it says Bon Secours will pay an uh, annual lease amount of $33,000 a year. That's up from the previously discussed $5,000 a year. But previously, they had said they would maintain the field at their expense. Now they are paying $28,000 a year for the city to maintain the property. Uh, the city is dedicating uh, $288,000 uh, for the next 10 years. Uh, from the real estate taxes on the West Hampton property and 
$32,000 a year for 10 years on uh, non-real estate taxes. Uh, number nine, I, I oppose this, the 60-year lease. Madam President, can you tell me of any other long-term lease like that that the city has with a private entity? You may not be able to do so, but Ms. Jane Ferrara may be able to. I think that is exceptional, and uh, we should not do that. Uh, the city is also dedicating $195,000 a year. That's, that's supposed to be the city's take on that $8.5 million. It's supposed to come from 100,000 people visiting. I don't think those 100,000 people are going to come to visit. That statistic was from wherever they had their camp now, it's either in Northern Virginia or Maryland, which is the, ba the fan base for the team. And uh, the city's also getting $60,000 a year for the Lee Street site. And that's uh, going into the schools program. Uh, you know, uh, down here, if one final note, the EEA is uh, going to make the, the fields available to public schools uh, for a number of days. You know, the EEA, they're contributing $150 million to this project, and I would prefer to see that money spent on local businesses. Thank you for the option and comment. Thank you. Good evening, so we're pursuing our system in Richmond, Virginia. I guess this will be my last time speaking in opposition in these papers. You know, uh, I'm coming from a different perspective. I don't like sports. You know, I don't know how many people in the room don't like sports. I don't know how many people do like sports. I don't think sports are important. You know, they uh, one team wins, one team loses. Who cares? It really makes no difference at all. You know, uh, this sports team, as I said earlier, is owned by Mr. Snyder. He's a billionaire. And billionaires are the people that like for folks to watch sports. Get wrapped up in a bunch of unimportant stuff that doesn't matter. You know, instead of getting involved in things like that do matter, like your community or your government, uh, you know, attending art shows, whatever. Read a book. You know, almost anything you could think of is better than watching sports. You know what's worse than watching sports? It's talking about sports. It's, it's not important. Trust me, it's not important. You know, but there's one thing people take away from my comments tonight. You know, just think about what you're doing to yourself, how you're denying your, your life. For, for uh, these billionaires to profit off of your stupidity by uh, encouraging you to buy t-shirts, uh, tire, tire covers with the team's logo. You know, this is all garbage. This is the thing, China. It's totally irrelevant. And, uh, you know, the fact that it's being pushed by uh, the mayor and the economic development team, is, it really outrages me. It, it, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like my government telling me what religion to practice. You know, uh, you know, I don't like football. I don't think, I don't want my government supporting football. We're giving this billionaire a $9 million field at public expense, you know. This was done behind closed doors. At, as I mentioned earlier, it's a quid pro quo. Uh, Mr. Marshall mentioned it at the land, land use meeting. I've got it on video if anyone's interested. You know, quid pro, quid pro quo, that means you do this for me and I'll do this for you. You know, uh, uh, the administration approached Fox Course about the sponsorship, $6 million sponsorship. They said, we'll only do it if you give us West Hampton School. That's, if, if, if you know, I can support Monsacre's growing their uh, facilities in the city, 200 plus jobs. You know, I support that. But why in the world is football tied to this? You know, if it's really worth doing, even giving them the school, if it's really worth doing, why can't this be done with, with more time instead of, it's only been two weeks since we heard about this for the first time. That's what I'm opposed to. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to comment, and uh, please, you know, this is something, if you all voted for this, you should really feel ashamed of yourselves. Bon Secure should be ashamed for negotiating with the city in bad faith against uh, the interests of the people in the neighborhood. And the Redskins, they apparently have no shame because they use the Native American's image on their team logo in an offensive name. Thank you.